it was just different from everything at school. It's one of my passions that I grew up doing and I've always enjoyed. It's my 28th year teaching, 26 years here at Goose Creek. I started this program here. So every kid has got their own little section. It's run just like a shop and, and by design. It's not an actual welding shop, but it is about as close as you can get. I've been planning on doing this since sixth grade. Where I live, I have the choice between Stratford and Goose Creek. I chose Goose Creek because it had the welding program. I came in, I didn't have no interest in welding, but then I, they put me in the class. I was like, oh, okay. And then it blew up. I got real interested. Everything just started to come together. That's what I did. I, t I took uh, welding in high school here from Goose Creek. And uh, I took it because a buddy was taking it. You know, kind of the same thing as him. And two years after that, I was working at General Dynamics, you know, right out of high school. So been doing it my whole life. You gotta put a little bit of pressure on there. So one of y'all press right there with your hand out of the way. You either go to a trade school or you go to a company and it's kind of something that I would enjoy doing and it gives me the knowledge to do it. Like it would give me knowledge to learn how to weld better. I pull it together with this mm -hmm. and I put the clamp on there. Yeah, we can, we can grind that a little bit out. So programs like mine and other CTE programs, that's the meat and potatoes of the kids that's graduating. And, and they're going right to work. With welding, uh, I want to work at a company. Everything in the shop, you're in a booth or either you're out in the open, but in the cage, everything's different. It's hard in the cage. You're real like in a closed in space. It's more about you getting in there, you know, experiencing a little bit. In the cage there, then, you know, we had a, a young lady that was very nervous about getting in there and all, you know, talk her through it a little bit and then Good to go, you know. You can do it. I'm gonna be right here. The value they feel in themselves when they get out of it and they make these accomplishments, I mean, that's priceless to me. You was even thinking about not getting in here, wasn't you? Bergy is a great teacher. Bergy knows how to push you and Bergy knows how to teach you. Just take your time, you're gonna be fine, okay? Bergy makes everything so easy. He talks, it talks you through everything. He makes things real simple. Whenever you do something wrong, he like, he knows how to show you to do it right. When you get it flushed out to where it needs to be, you put your next tack, your next tack, and just keep working in the round. First time I did it, he was there holding it with us to make sure we didn't mess anything up. It was real, real helpful. Okay, that's not bad. I'm all about teamwork, all about, you know, motivating these kids to have great work ethics. I strive for that more than, you know, them being great welders. I'd rather them be great people. So teamwork is definitely one of the most important things. He gives us the knowledge to do do it after high school and do it right. All these are first year students. That's a, that's a pretty good looking well. But just working with these kids and, and seeing where they start and seeing where they're going is just what keeps me going. Y'all doing good. For real. I mean, that's, that's as good as it gets. 28 years and I can't think of a better job. I've worked out in production and, you know, I've always, you know, been in the service and all. And, but this is, the most satisfying work I've ever done.